everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Marvelous Monday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I have a involved project for you today. So if you are an avid crafter and you like to use all of your dyes and your heat embossing and 3D, this is the project for you. And if you're just starting out, if you're a new stamper, then um, don't be overwhelmed by all this. this there's, a, there's a lot of pieces to this particular project. Um, and just know that, you know, the sky's the limit with some of these things. So the, um, the theme is Magic in This Night. This is a new suite that has come out in the mini holiday catalog and let me show you what that looks like. So here are some of the projects that you can make with this suite. I'm not generally a huge Halloween uh, fan, but this suite has so many beautiful elements to it. I mean, the, 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 I love the, the palette, the designer series papers. They're two-sided and they're really beautiful. There is the stamp set with the dies and that looks like this. Here's some more projects that you can make and here's some of the shapes that the dies cut out. And it has this fantastic spider webby ribbon, these really pretty gems. It has a, a cobweb embossing folder and it has this black glitter paper. And I just keep thinking about all of the potential that you have to make really fun projects with this suite. So I'm going to show you um, something new today that I haven't done before. I'm going to be at least not in front of the camera. It's heat embossing. And, um, and I've got a kind of a funky setup here because I'm working in my North Light studio rather than my craft room. So um, this is the first time I've got my heat tool hooked up to all of the uh, electrical things up here. So hopefully <laughs> if, the, if the camera cuts out, you'll know why. Anyway, so I have... This set, Hollow's Night Magic, and I'm going to be using this spider and this design and this sentiment, Happy Halloween. And you saw me use this spider before. That's the one that I used on this box a week or so ago with that spooky spider that hangs down from the inside of the of the lid. Okay, so we're going to we're going to be using that again cuz I really like that spider. We're going to be using the the dies to cut out some of these things, and I'm also going to be using the cobweb 3D embossing folder again. And that looks like this. Okay. Um, and I've got the mini curvy keepsake box, which is one of my favorite dies to use because you can just use this year round for so many treats. And um, so we're going to be using that. I have the iridescent pearls, the, what do they call this? The metallic mesh ribbon. And then I've got some scrap basic black cardstock. I've got some silver foil. 
I'm using the spidery designer series paper from Magic in This Night. I've got a card base with more silver foil, more of that paper, and a piece of white for the insert so that you have something to write your message on and an envelope. So this is going to be a kind of a, a longer video today because of all the different things that I'll, I'll be demonstrating. So if you wanna go grab a cup of coffee, please do that. And I'm going to just check this setting over here. Make sure this is working. And it is. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is some heating, heat embossing. So I'm going to get my basic black scraps out. Put this all to the side. And I have my Versamark stamp pad. I've got an embossing buddy, which is just a little pillow filled with chalk to take any grease and static electricity off the cardstock. And I have this little tray. Actually, I don't think we're going to need the little tray. And in this tub, I have some silver embossing powder. So the first thing I want to do is to take my embossing buddy, and I'm just going to rub that on the surface of my cardstock. Let's start with just two. And what this does, it just makes sure that the Versamark ink sticks in the places that you want it to and that the embossing powder won't adhere to any other places on the card. I've got my, my spider, my sentiment, and my label. And the, the Versamark is a clear ink that is what they call a watermark. So if you were to stamp this just on the paper alone, like this, It just, it makes a very faint image that if this were lighter paper, you'd see it better. And it looks kind of like a watermark. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stamp four spiders. And then the tricky part is going to be seeing if I can line up this sentiment inside of my label. So I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to get my head into the camera view for a minute, so just forgive me. We'll just hope for the best here. This may not be perfect, but you'll get the idea. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. So now I just want to cover all this up and get it out of the way. I've got this spoon attached to the lid. And I'm just going to scoop up a bunch of this powder and just sprinkle it over the ink. And you can see it picked up my spiders.
And there's my label with the sentiment. Okay, now this is, the, this is the heat gun, or the heat tool, as they call it. And this has a couple of different settings on it. So right now it's off. It makes a little bit of a noise. So I'm putting it on the high setting. And I'm just gonna let that warm up a little bit. And then, I'm just going to wave that around until that embossing powder begins to melt. And there it goes. Okay, and you can see the heat tool has this nice little stand, so you can put it to the side and let it cool off a little bit. And always be very careful that when you're, when you're done, that you put it away and you unplug it so you don't have any fire hazards. Okay, so what we have now is this beautiful, sparkly, metallic sentiment. And I'm just going to get out the cut and emboss machine. Oh, before I do that, let's, I want to do one more thing. Hold on while I get my folder out. Okay, here we go. I dropped my pieces. So I'm going to take my foil pieces. go and I have the now on your base plate of the machine it, it gives you the instructions for assembling your sandwich so for this one I'm using the 3d embossing folder so I'm using the base plate one and the the uh, plate number four so that's our number one. Here's four. This is the embossing folder, and I'm just making sure that the label is right side up. That tells me that that's the top side. 
I'm going to send my silver foil through there with the hinge side first. And that's going to go in between these two. Just run that through, very easy. And there's my nice cobwebs. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. Get the fuzz off of it. Sending that through this way. And there's another piece. Okay. So, next I'm going to take my plate number two and number three, and I'm going to place my spiders. And I'm going to run this through four times to cut my spiders out. I'm just going to stand up so I can see a little bit better. Make sure that's on there correctly. And again, same thing. I'm expecting my magnetic plate to arrive tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. The magnetic plate helps to keep the, the dies from moving. One more spider. If you'd like to be notified of my upcoming classes online, please go to my website at www.dandeliancottagedesign.com and you'll see a place there to subscribe to notes and you will get a notification in your mailbox on the first of the month letting you know what's coming up for that month and there's also information there about some other events and how you can purchase some of these supplies and a lot of other stuff so check that out
Okay. So I think that is... I'll do one more. Actually, while I have it out, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this larger die also. And in the foil again. So I'm just going to cut out a piece of foil. And this, this die has some very nice detailing along the edge, so it's going to leave a little embossed line. Okay, there we go. And I think you can see that pretty edge that it makes. So now let's see what we have. We've got four spiders. They're very cute. We've got our pretty label. Oh, one more thing to cut out. I forgot the mini curvy gift box, so let's just do that fast. So there's the base for the box. And one more thing. I'm going to take this piece of foil and what I'm going to do is I'm only interested in getting these three pieces. So I'm going to put that on there like that. Okay, so now I think we've got everything. So I'm here. I'm just going to carefully Snip these away. I'm just going to gently score these on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Now what I want to do is to glue this. I'll zoom you in so you can see a little better. So I'm taking the foil and I'm going to glue it to two sides of the box like that. OK, 
Can you hear Philippe Petit? That's that little rooster I rescued a couple of weeks ago. So he hears the other birds outside. He's letting them know he's here. Okay. burnish. Make sure that everything lines up. And there's our little box. So I'm just going to fold these handles out like so. And give this a little curve, just a little bit. Just with my fingers, because the foil will hold its shape. And then I'm just fitting those handles through the slit like that. I'm going to put my chocolate in the box. And close it up. Alright, so there's our cute little treat box with spiders and cobwebs. Now I have the, um, this nice silver thread so that we can give the spider his, his uh, web here. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a glue dot I'm just putting that in the center of the spider and then I'm taking my my silver thread and I'm just going to press that into the glue dot and then I'm going to add a little more glue and I'm just running this down the legs by by pressing with the nozzle on the glue to help spread it around. And for this, let me see if I have my tweezers here. Sometimes for these little things, it really helps if you have a pair of tweezers. So I'm just going to line that up. I'll hold that for just a minute. Make sure all those legs get stuck together. It's not a perfect match, but it's close enough. It's pretty darn close. And there, there's my, my string. So I can snip that off. Okay, there we go, and then I'm going to take this 
some of a couple of my iridescent pearls. And I'm going to put one on each side of his body. There we go. So there's our cute sparkly spider ready to go onto our box. So I'm going to put that aside for the minute. And I'm going to do the same thing for my second spider. So I'm just taking my glue dot putting it right there adding the thread For the spider silk and then just adding a little bit of glue for the legs and just pushing that around lined up as best I can. Okay. So now we have two beautiful little spiders ready to dangle. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty cute. Okay, so let's continue. one. So here we go. So I'm just going to get that label on there as best I can. I didn't do a perfect job over here, but it's a little tricky with the camera above my head. You can do better. I'll put that aside to dry. Now, um, you should be aware that when you're using this, this foil, It does take the glue a little bit longer to dry because the foil is not absorbent like the paper is. So, um, so just keep that in mind and put it somewhere safe so that it can set up. And then I'm going to take my card base and start to assemble my card. So this is the insert on the inside of the card so that you can write your message. And this is cut to three and three quarters by five.
I'm just going to check that. Just make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yes, so that's three and three quarters by five. That's the inside of our card. And then I have my designer series paper. And this is cut to five and a quarter by four. I think you can see those nice spiders that it has all over it. And I'm going to give that a good burnish with my bone folder. Get that glue off of there. And then I'm going to adhere my, actually I think I want to see a little bit more of the spider. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit. I'm going to take half an inch of it off of each edge. And I can save this, that might be nice for something else. Actually, I think, I think I'll just put that right on the inside of my card for a little extra something. There we go. Okay. I'm just staying away from the edges because I don't want the glue to get on the foil. There we go, that's better. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to take my spooky spider and on the back of my label I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals. So this time I'm using the black stamping dimensionals, and in this package you get quite a lot. You get two of the larger dimensionals and two of the smaller, so it's actually a double pack. So that's a good deal. And I'm just going to take these and I'm going to put them in the four corners of my label. Just like that. And I'm going to add one on this side over here. Oops, one got away from me. Okay, 
And I'm going to take my spider web and I'm just going to let that hang off the bottom like so. Okay, so I'm just going to loop that around a little bit so there's a little more adhesion. And snip off the extra. Okay. And I'm going to get him And I'll raise it up a tiny bit. There we go. So there he is. And then to finish the box, I'm going to clean up a little bit here. I'm going to take this beautiful webby ribbon snip off a piece of that let's say let's see how much I need first I'm just going to run this through the through the handle and I'm going to tie a bow tie a knot first This, this ribbon is really so beautiful, and um, it doesn't have to be just a spooky ribbon. This would be beautiful on a, on a Christmas card with silvery accents, and, um, and it does have a little bit of a um, metallic element in it so you can you can really shape it any way you like. I'm going to take my other spider and actually you know what I'm going to do? Well I'm going I'm going to slip it through the through the handle. No, I'm going to do it the right way. Let me sh let me go back a step. Because otherwise, your, your gift recipient might lose their spider, and we don't want them to lose their spider. So I'm just going to take this ribbon off for a second. I'm going to open one side of the box, and now I'm going to slip my spider silk through there. And I'm just going to tie this in a double knot so that it doesn't get away from us because we don't want any spiders running around. So there's there's one knot. And the second knot and I'm just going to trim the extra. All right, so there's our spider. Now we can put our ribbon. There you have it. So here's our elegant Halloween card with our dangling spider. And here's the beautiful little gift box with another spider and this 
fantastic ribbon. So I hope you can see that well enough. It, it really is very special. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it went a little bit longer than usual, but I, I thought it was worthwhile because I think that these items in this suite are so special. So I hope you stay well, stay creative, and I'll see you next on Watercolor Wednesday at 12 noon. And that's all for now.